Hey, 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 y'all. It is officially craft a thon time. And this, hold on, we gotta clean our desk off. So we're gonna grab our handy dandy Windex. We have some paint from the last time I painted still on the glass. I have glass on mine so it's easier to clean up. All right, are y'all ready? Are you ready? Ah, thought I canceled it. Sorry, I thought I ended it prematurely. No, we're good. Okay, so if you are here with me today, let me know. Tell me you're here and tell me where you're from. If we haven't already met yet, if we met, then we're already best friends, right? Hey, Marie. Hey, Sherry and Kathy. How are y'all doing tonight? So if you are excited about painting our garland today, I want you to type I'm excited or yay in the comments. It's going to match this bad boy that we painted last week during our template to Wednesday release. And here it is. Y'all, here it is. It's the puzzle pieces. We're going to paint it oh so simple, but it's going to be gorgeous and it's going to match perfectly. We're going to use the exact same color. So let's go ahead and get a palette out. Y'all know me. I've got some paper plates. I also like to use egg cartons. I use a lot of different things for palettes. It does not have to be the same thing every time. And then I want you to notice this back here. Isn't it gorgeous? I just painted it. It's so pretty. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Pamela. And Terry and Jerry. Oh, wow. That's right. How are y'all? Maria is excited. Deidre is excited. Oh, Jerry's always excited, y'all. Maria... Teresa, Roxana, how are y'all? Oh, from Illinois. I've got some family up in Illinois. We could be related, girl. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do base coating. Nothing special here. I will tip it down to where you can see me and the thing, but it's just base coating. So let's have some FaceTime here. Y'all know me. I love my personal FaceTime with y'all. So let's keep that going. All right, we're gonna get old trusty out. And we are going to use DecoArt Tomato Red, okay? I think we used Santa Red um, the last time. I think I ran out of Santa Red, and Santa Red has been sparse. But they did have Tomato Red, so I have Tomato Red. They're very close. Tomato Red is a little dusty, where Santa Red is super bright. But it'll work, okay? So, just that's all I've got on here. We're just going to go ahead and paint two of these two of them all right boom done one coat wonder right there i love me some tomato red now there's going to be three of these and three of these okay we're going to base coat one of each shape Okay, so we've got the end piece. If you're a puzzle fanatic like me, you got your end pieces and then you got your inside pieces. So we're gonna do an end piece and an inside piece, the same color, okay? So again, the tomato red. Uh, Santa red will work just fine. We're not doing any kind of shading on these. Garlands are super simple. Do not stress yourself out on a garland, y'all. They're simple. They're supposed to be easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Am I right? Now, I know the mock-up. If y'all are part of the, the cross-country creative page, y'all saw the mock-up at this last week where I gave a sneak peek of what I was going to be painting. You notice they all have polka dots, but I think we're going to we're going to venture away from that. I think we're going to venture away from just going easy and going along with the mock-up. I want to show y'all that you do not have to always paint things the way you see them in a mock-up. It's not going to get scary, I promise, and it's going to be super simple. It's going to be just as simple as painting polka dots, and I'm going to give you a choice. Y'all are going to help me choose. Are y'all ready? We're not quite there yet. Oh, she's on a pun game tonight. Yeah. Y'all, I'm in a good mood. I'm in such a good mood. Okay, so again, another end piece. So we're going to start with an end piece and an inside piece. So I've got them designated. I've got them set aside. I've got a hair that's just tickling my wrist. It was caught in my, my watch band. Okay, so now we're going to go with banana cream. Banana cream, what's the other one I like? 
This one I haven't been able to find since the old, we won't even say its name anymore. Let's not even give it the glory anymore. Let's go ahead and just say since the last year, I haven't been able to find banana cream, but I have a feeling it will be coming back soon. But we got banana cream and then sunny day. That's the other one that I've been replacing it with. Hey, Debbie. How are y'all doing? Okay, so y'all don't feel bad if I haven't answered a question. If you end up with a question down in the comments, don't feel bad. I'm not ignoring you. Don't have my classes on. Y'all notice I get real close to read those comments. So, um, I'm not ignoring you. I will come back after the live and I always answer questions. I usually pop down in the comments with you. And um, I'll answer com I'll answer comments, link anything that needs to be linked. If oh, that's a lot of paint there, Corey. Slow your roll. Hold on. That's a lot of paint. I'm I don't do this often, but that's one of my favorite colors. And like I said, I have yet to see it in a store in the last year. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna do it. So so far we used tomato red and banana cream. That right there is how, like, oh, look at that. Look at that yellow. I love painting with yellow. It's not the funnest thing to paint with yellow, but look at it. It is eye-searingly bright when it's against dark colors. Hey, Carla. How are you? Oh, Carla and Car Carla with a K. Carla with C. What? Hey. Hey, girls. How are y'all doing? It's a shame. When they quit making colors. I know. Well, okay. So, let me tell y'all why they quit making colors. Remember, we're not going to say its name. You know that old mean girl? That little virus. That's what I've been thinking of her. Like, the, the personification that I gave her over this last year. She was the mean girl in the school that didn't want nobody to be happy. Her? Oh, Rona? Yeah. They had to stop making certain colors because they had to limit... Their production because their their staff got really really small you know and they had to limit bodies in the in the facility and and so they they just made a, an executive decision and said we're gonna have to limit our production we can't just predict which colors are gonna need to be refilled at certain right so let's just niche it down for the time being to our most popular colors and just Go with the flow until then. Well, they've been doing that, but I, I, I think I received an email not long ago. Y'all, there's a lot of red still stuck in this brush. I'm going to switch to a new brush just because reds like to hide specifically in flat brushes, but they like to hide in the bristles of a brush. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's not in the bristle of the brush. It's on my, it's on my, it's on my turntable. Okay. So there's the yellow. We're going to set that aside. Have y'all noticed this back in the... I've been pointing to it, but I want y'all to know, if you comment the word spring, I have a new... Um, I have a new little thing that's coming up that I'm really excited to share with y'all. I've worked really hard on it for the last couple of months to get it going because remember, I'm a one-woman show. So, if I want to do something, i got to plan ahead of time. So... I've been planning to do this thing, and I'm so excited. If you haven't noticed, I haven't done a virtual party, virtual paint party, in almost a year. Like a legit virtual paint party. Well, I've decided it's been long enough. I'm ready. I'm ready to have a virtual, private virtual paint party, okay? And I want to invite all my crafty friends to come hang with me and do a virtual paint party. So here's what it includes. This design will be exclusive to the virtual paint party. It's not part of Erica's template tribe. It's not part of any of my memberships. It is literally just for the paint party. So for that, you have to be part of the paint party. It comes with a um, uh, pre-recorded step-by-step tutorials, an ultra breakdown of how I painted this. There's a lot going on. There's buffalo plaid. This right here is completely shaded in the background. This right here is hand lettered, but it's hand lettered in a very specific way. I teach you how to paint lemons to where they look dimensional. And I teach you how to paint this flower right here to where it looks dimensional. And then I show you my tip on blueberries. If I haven't showed you it live here before, it's one of my favorite tips. Because it makes it look like a real blueberry with no work. 
So if you comment the word spring after the live is over, I will pop back on and I will send you the link. It's only $10 and there's a bonus inside. You know me, I love to give bonuses. So you know my garland people, obviously you like to paint garlands with me, right? So there will be a free garland tutorial in there as well, along with the template for the garland as well. Y'all know I don't normally sell my garland templates. There's a couple on my page but I don't normally sell them. They only come as blanks. And so for this particular paint party, it's a virtual paint party, it's $10, and you get the, you get this template, you get the JPEG, the template, you get the mock-up, so you can advertise for a paint party if you wanna do a paint party in your town. You also get the template and JPEG for the garland itself. And I don't have a picture of the, gar I don't have the garland hanging because I already have a different garland hanging but it's probably my favorite garland of all time, other than the one we're making now. Okay, so now, last color, last color. Let's see, what color are we gonna paint it? Are we gonna paint it the traditional blue? We're gonna paint it the teal. Okay, so here's here's our dilemma. We've got the, the, the regular, you know, primary blue, and we've got teal down here. So these are the, these are the, the palette scheme for autism awareness. Um, you've got blue, teal, yellow, and red. There's a couple of other colors that some people like to use as well. It just says secondary colors, but this is your generic run of the mill autism awareness color scheme. Should we do regular blue? Should we do teal? That's the ones that we have left and we only have two pieces left, which means we only have room for two, uh, one color. I think the mock-up, let me see. I should probably have the comments going. Blue, please, blue, Jerry says blue, but Sherry says teal, Teresa says blue. Cindy says she's in for the virtual paint party, y'all. Anybody who signs up for the virtual paint party, just be uh, expecting to be let in tomorrow. So you'll get your email tomorrow. So go ahead and sign up. In 24 hours of signing up, you should receive an email um, letting you know where to go for the virtual paint party. It's a group, it's a private group where only people who are invited get in. And then um, go ahead and reserve your spot in the virtual group and then go ahead and start getting your JPEGs ready. And then on the, actual virtual live portion, which will be a Q&A with me. It'll be, if you had any trouble with any of this or the garland, you will, uh, you'll have opportunity to ask me and then we'll paint the garland live that night. So you'll get the tutorial pre-recorded for the door hanger, but the garland will be a live paint Q&A with me. Blue. Okay. So I'm thinking, okay, it's pretty half and half. The next person who, who, comments a color that will be the one we go that's the one we'll go with so if you comment the word spring I'll come back at the end and I will give you the link for signing up for the virtual paint party it's ten dollars and you get not only do you get this um template you also get the template for the matching garland blue that's it okay so Kimberly was the next one to, on my end so we're gonna go blue now remember when we painted this one we did not use straight out the bottle blue because this was ultra violet. Oh man, it was so searingly bright navy blue. We ghosted it out a little bit with some white. So let's do that, okay? Come on, blue. There we go. There's our blue. I went like okay. So this one's called Deco Art Ultra Blue Deep. Very random name, but it has like, it's navy blue, but it is ultra bright. So, it's such a weird concept, but it's so beautiful. It's my favorite blue. If I have to go super dark, but I need it to still look blue because some blues, some browns, they if, if they get dark enough, they look black, right? So I'm just gonna lazy paint this on. I have blue and white, double dipped on my brush, right? I have an end piece, I have a inside piece, and I'm just gonna paint it on. Okay, so 
We've got that. Okay, so what's all, what else is going on with us over here at Wallace House? We've got the virtual paint party at the, the live Q&A banner garland tutorial will be on April 1st. And that's no April Fool's joke. April 1st will be the day of the actual virtual paint party. But you can get access as soon as tomorrow to the tutorials of this no not tomorrow uh monday monday will be the day that you get access to these um i keep thinking today's sunday today is definitely saturday okay so we are just lazy painting this blue on there and i'm not completely blending this blue and white together i'm letting them both showcase themselves as like a murky blue and white hazy heathered almost like a heathered t-shirt background there's that one. It's the only one I did that with. It's the only piece I did that with. Okay. So we've got that. We're going to do this piece exactly the same. Remember, comment spring for access to register, for the link to register for the virtual paint party. Like I said, I'm over not having virtual paint parties. I've been so busy with Erica's Template Tribe and my membership that I've decided I think I've made some breathing room. I took it really slow. I designed this bad boy months ago. Months. Okay. So, I'm like, I had it well in advance to where I could slowly build it up to, to release it. And I'm finally ready. I'm so excited. And guess what? It's first day of spring, so it's perfect. It's a perfect release date for this guy. Who knows? We might even do a bow tutorial in there. If I'm feeling froggy, I'll jump, right? My kids' t-ball coach just group texted the team and rem a reminder of our game. Supposed to be Monday, but he said tomorrow. I I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Lori, I'm... I'm I mean, all day yesterday, kept calling it Thursday. My kids were on spring break this week, and I think that just threw me off. Okay, I'm going to do one more base coat of the yellow. The yellow just needs, it doesn't even need a whole coat. It needs a half a coat, just for good measure. Okay, so I'm going to grab a different brush, one that's been soaking for a while, because that blue is just like that red. It, speaking of the red, y'all. Oh, it's my week. It's my week. Okay, so the yellow. Yellow! That's what we need. It's not completely dry, but it's dry enough for me to go ahead. And I don't want to get any blue on this, so I'm going to lift it up a little bit. And just kind of slap it on. I love these individual pieces where you can just base coat one color. You can be as messy as you want with it. It's not necessarily rocket science. I guess I should have left that extra paint on the table because what I scooped back into the, I have replaced. All right, one more piece and then we will be, we'll be good to go for the next step. Now, here's the next step. Here is the next step. The next step is going to be polka dots or stripes. The mock-up shows polka dots. I mean, every piece, all six pieces has polka dots, right? So, we've got polka dots on every single one, but we could also do stripes. We actually have a little bit extra time um, together tonight. Most of our presenters will have an hour, but we had a little hiccup in the schedule to where the person that was originally supposed to go after me wasn't able to, so I get extra 30 minutes with y'all, and Francis with stitches and stuff that comes right right after me, she'll get an extra 30 minutes with you. So, we have time to kind of get a little crazy here and mix up the um, the banner, you know, the, the prints. Okay, so we're totally done with that. We're going to put our turntable. I like the turntable because it brings it up just enough to where I'm not bending over to, to work on it. Does the paint studio ladies need to sign up? Okay, good question, Kim. No, my paint studio ladies. So, if you're part of my membership called the paint studio, no, you get free access to it. So, I will give y'all a link inside the paint studio to go directly over when it's ready for you to go over. So, yes, if you are part of paint studio, this bad boy right here is part of your membership. That's a perk of being a part of the paint studio. 
Let's see. Okay, so don't forget to comment. Let's see. Spring. Comment spring if you want the link to sign up and register for the Hello Spring Lim Blueberry Lemon Quatrefoil Frame is what I called it. Very technical name. Okay, so let's pick our red. I'm going to do a little bit of placement here. I'm going to try and figure out how these are going to lay on the actual garland itself. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna do that. Didn't mean to put that yellow on there. Okay, I'm just kind of positioning it. Let's see. Did I paint the back of one? see we're gonna do that I want to do a red and then a yellow hold on and then a blue the, the only reason I'm trying to lay them out is because I want them to lay a certain way as far as the the stripes and the polka dot I want every other one to have a stripe and a polka dot I don't necessarily care about the order in which they they kind of turn just playing with the placement I think I will be I'm trying to think right there we're gonna repaint this blue one just for giggles how about that I want to flip it around it's not like it's kind of the way they're all facing so remember I just half and half half and half on my brush and I'm just literally not paying it any attention just just swiping it on okay perfect look how fast that went done all right so let's blow dry these bad boys I don't know why I'm calling them boys these pieces and get them ready to be painter's tape and polka dotted. Now, the only one I really care about are the ones that are gonna get striped because the painter's tape will not wanna stick to them. Because if they're wet, the painter's tape will wanna lift off of it naturally because that's the whole, the whole purpose of painter's tape, right? So I'm just taking my fingertip and I'm just kind of lightly holding each piece down so Blow dryer is really strong and it will blow it away like it tried. Okay, so now we have. Yeah, that's exactly how I want them to, to sit. Okay, so we have every other one. Okay, so thank you, Jerry. I joined. Yay! Um, hey, Darla, how are y'all? And I'm okay, is it a Mira or a Myra? Is it a little eye or a big eye? A mirror. Like a, like a mirror? Like does it kind of uh, rhyme with mirror? Like I'm looking in the mirror? Or does it sound like I'm talking about me, myself, and I? A Myra. I love that. It's beautifully written. And then Ruby Ray. Oh, Ruby. Okay, so side note. Ray Lynn had my daughter, who's Ray Lynn, R-A-Y. My middle name is Ray, so Ray's name is Ray. Um... We bounced a few names around. Ruby was one of them. Ruby was one of them. Ruby Ray. And it was going to be Ruby Ray. That was it. It was going to be Ruby Ray Wallace. Um, I wanted all of her garlands. <laughs> Marie. Okay, so. Should I tell y'all the, the secret? Oh, gosh. I'm so, I'm so nervous to tell y'all this. So, um, usually I don't sell my garland templates. You just, like, they're just offered as blanks. But this month, along with the template that goes along with that for the garland, Erica's template tribe, one of the bonuses is a garland. It's the template for this one. I'm so excited to give y'all that. It's a bonus. So with Erica's template tribe, 
It always has five designs for every Tuesday that is in the month. So if there's four Tuesdays, there's 20 designs, but there's always bonus designs or there's bonus files. And one of the bonus files for April, since it's Autism Awareness Month, this will be the bonus template. The only way you can get the template is to be part of Erica tr uh, Template Tribe and it to be a bonus. Not all Garland templates will be in the Template Tribe as a bonus, but in certain months, I will gift them to my Template Tribe members. So the Garland, this template right here will be part of Erica Template Tribe. So if you're part of Erica Template Tribe or if you wanna be, comment the word tribe and I'll send you the link to sh uh, sign up. It's $30 a month, reoccurring, cancel anytime, but you get all the designs that I release, template uh, designs on the first through the third, emailed to you in one link every month. So you get, you don't have to wait every Tuesday to get the designs that I release. You get them all in one big bundle either the first or the third. It just depends on how it the first Tuesday it lays. Let's see. Okay, so here's your question. Let's get back to this garland. Do we wanna do all polka dots like the, uh, the mock-up says, or do we wanna incorporate a couple of stripes in there? Do we wanna do polka dot and stripes, or do we wanna do all polka dots? So say both or dots. Tell me what you think. The first three, the third one will be the tiebreaker. So come on, y'all tell me. Spring blank, I can't cut. Oh, Miss Helen, do you need one? I can get you one, baby girl. I got you. I got you, sweet lady. You know me. I got you. Okay, so Maria says both. So she's number one. Kimberly says both. She was number two. Here, the next one. Next one to comment. That's what we'll go with. What is the name of your studio group? My name, Debbie, is the Paint Studio. That is the membership. Oh, wait, 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 and Roxana. She was number three. Roxana Griffin with Creations by Griffin said both. So we will be doing stripes and polka dots. So the Paint Studio is where we paint three door hanger designs a month. Um, we also do a Procreate tip or trick. So I'm just breaking out one inch painter's tape and I'm gonna go down the row and I'm gonna do stripes, just horizontal stripes. I have their little dots. Actually, I'm going to put them, it just so happens that they're all end pieces. So I'm gonna put them as if they're right here is perpendicular with me. So they're, it, that's going north and south, not their dots. I'm not putting their dots horizontal. I'm putting the, this right here, north and south with me. And I'm gonna go painter's tape north and south, okay? There we go. I'm, I'm going to get some cheaters tape. The little spacer pieces. Okay, so back to back to Paint Studio. Paint Studio, we paint three exclusive designs. You get them for an, a solid year um, before they're ever released to the public. I still have yet to um, determine if I'm going to release them to the public. I don't know. I, I I haven't decided yet. I don't know the the the. Ugh. birthday is coming up. My very first month was May and those designs are due to be released and I just don't know if I'm going to release them. I think they're just going to stay in the studio and I've had someone tell me I was stupid for doing that but it's not their shindig, right? So I just feel like it's, it's a per, I don't know. I haven't decided. So, okay. So we're going to go ahead I'm gonna move this beauty out of the way. It's kind of on my paint desk and it's kind of in my way. Cause I wanna keep these in the order in which they were received to where y'all can see everything I'm working on. So that's what I've been working on. That's why I've been so busy and I haven't been able to do paint parties is because I've been diligently working in the paint studio. Um, and the ladies in there, they're so sweet. They love me so much and they're so forgiving. They realize I'm a one woman show. And that, um, you know, I have a toddler and there's hiccups, but, you know, there's never a horrible hiccup to where things just go so haywire that it just all melts down. But, like, there's a schedule. Every once in a while, I have to move something from a Saturday to a Sunday or stuff like that. Nothing major, but, you know, we get three designs a month. We get uh, Procreate, Tip or Trick. There's a mini course on Procreate in there. Um... I'm, I'm thinking of, this is something that I'm, I love brainstorming. My favorite thing to do. If y'all haven't uh, been a part of a group called the Paint, uh, Paint to Profit program, I'm the brainstorm host. I, I host a brainstorm in that 
that membership group. It's not my membership group, but it's a, a group that I am a member of. And um, I love brainstorming. And so, and my, my friend Hannah says, you just light up. And I'm like, because I love it. I love helping people like connect with other people. And I love helping people find the thing that they've been like so frustrated that they couldn't see it in front of their face. And they're like, oh my gosh, that's, that's it. I love those aha moments, those little light bulb moments. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate a brainstorm session for the girls who have businesses in the group who really want to dive deeper into their business. Not necessarily, it's definitely not a coaching group. Definitely not. This is something for them to have more of an accountability and to have some one-on-one -on -one time with me um, and my brain. Because I have a million ideas that I don't ever have the time to implement at all. And when I find someone that I'm like, this is perfect for them, I just give it. I'm like, you know what? I would love to see this thing grow. It just, I will never have the time to do it. And I thought of you. Here, here you go. Here it is. I literally just worked the whole thing up for you. I've done that so many times. And sometimes they, they grow. And sometimes it helps them kind of brainstorm their own thing to the point of they're able to take that concept and build something even bigger out of it. So um, I just love seeing things come to fruition, even if I'm not going to be a part of it. I love just being, being the spark, if that makes sense. So that's going to be the future of the paint studio. We do, uh, we do painting t technique. Every template that I release in the paint studio has a technique in mind of what I want to show you. Um, whether it's a refresher on something we've already learned or it's a totally new technique that I want or a brush stroke I want to teach you. And I teach you my style of painting it. So if you're interested in studio, the paint, the paint studio, just go ahead and comment the word studio and I can get you the information on that as well. I was not prepared to do that. But I can. I usually open it up. It's usually open up the weekend of Craftathon in case anybody is interested in joining. So um, feel free. Message me the word studio if you're interested in studio. Message, message me the word tribe if you want to be part of Erica's template tribe where you receive all door hanger templates in one big file every month on the first or the third of the month instead of having to wait every Tuesday. Just Put it down in the comments. I'll come in after the, the live is over and I'll send you all the information. No big deal. Um, and then also, if you're interested in the virtual paint party, that is going to be opened on, like, you can register for it now, but the group doesn't open until Monday. And then the actual live virtual paint party, where it will be a Q&A and the garland tutorial, will be on the 1st, April Fool's, but it is no joke. We will be live in the group with a live Q&A as we paint the garland. Okay, so we've got everything taped off. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and paint our stripes. We need our handy dandy uh, baby wipes, right? What time is it? Oh, we're making great time. We have till 6.30. Francis will not be ready to go until 6.30, so we have plenty of time. So if, like I said, if you're interested in studio, type the word studio. If you're interested in drive, Type the word tribe. If you're interested in the virtual paint party, then type the word spring. And if you're interested in them all, just comment all of them. I'll get you all the information. No big deal. Um, okay. Let's start with the blue one because it's going to make my hands the messiest. And let's just get that over with. So we've got the blue one. I did a half and half mixture. Probably want to go a little heavier on the white just because we did a half and half mixture on the background with the lazy painting anyways. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're just gonna paint some stripes. You can also do this with your paintbrush. The, the trick to it, not bleeding. I do it this way because it doesn't bleed as much with the baby wipe. It will still bleed. Moisture and painter's tape don't mix. So when you're trying to paint with painter's tape, the frog tape, the green tape works fairly well, but it's expensive. And I'm a little on the frugal side when it comes to my craft supplies little on the frugal side. I love my deco arts, but I always catch them on sale. I always catch them on sale. All right, so that's the one blue. And she's done. One and done. Boom! The most satisfying part of the whole process is taking the paper. And there we go. There's our striped one. Now, it's not going to hang like that. It's going to hang 
like that. So our stripes are going to go all which ways and it's going to be beautiful. I'm so excited. Let's, let's talk about autism because the stripes going all which ways, let's just, that's a little different, right? And people who are diagnosed with autism are labeled by being different and different is never bad. Um, so I kind of like that. I'm going to leave it that way. We're not going to change it. Different is never bad. Okay, so, so and um is the quote of the day today, if y'all haven't noticed. During these craft -a -thons, I'm usually speed painting because we only have an hour, and I keep forgetting I have an hour and a half. So, just slow my roll a little bit. Now we're on to the yellow one. I am going to roll the dice on this. This has a lot of blue paint on it, and that could definitely turn my yellow green really fast. But we're going to attempt it. So I have a lot of white paint. I'm going to dip it in just a little bit of yellow. The yellow is already very pastel. So this may or may not show up. We may have to do straight white stripes. But we're going to test it out, okay? There we go. Oh, no, I like this. Okay, so it is very white, but it does have a hint of yellow. I'm going to go ahead and do this because there was a dot of blue paint. Yes, I just wiped it on my apron. I don't care. It was intended. It was intended to get messy. All right, that's good enough. We're going to dip it in white. Just a little bit of yellow. Okay, I'm going to have to take my white and just do my concealer trick. And then take that and do my concealer trick. It's still going to show. It's mine. This is for me. It's for me. Okay. I'm a little bit more white because I want it to show up against that yellow. There we go. Okay, y'all just keep commenting because I'm going to come back in the comments after the live is over and I'm going to answer everyone's comment. Y'all don't worry. I'm not ignoring you. It's just I don't have my glasses on tonight. Today or tonight, I could not decide which one I was going to say. So, today. That's how it came out. Today. Alrighty. So, let me tell you about these stripes and polka dots. One reason why I wanted to give you the option of either or was because I wanted to show you, you do not have to match the mock-up. You don't. Just because you see the mock-up a certain way with certain colors, with certain paint stripes, doesn't mean you can't get adventurous with it or you can't just throw your own style on it. There is nothing wrong with this thing got out of order. How? Hold on, red. I think that, oh, because that was supposed to go there and you go there. No, you, there we go. Yes, okay, whoo, it got out of order. I got real, I was about to get upset. Okay, so now we have the red stripes. So again, we're gonna try and find a clean area and we did. Luckily, that doesn't always happen. We're going to dip in the white. I'm dipping in the white first because I have a communal puddle of white. So, I've been using the same puddle of white. And I wanted it to stay as clean as possible so I didn't have to waste more paint. So, I dipped in white. And I dipped just a little bit of red. It's like two-thirds white, one-third red. It's about the ratio. And it's going to give me a nice reddish pink stripe. And it's going to be a little muddled. And I like that. So I wanted to show y'all that you can get adventurous. Just because you see the mock-up a certain way, you don't have to paint it that way. In fact, I encourage you not to. Because when you try to match something so perfectly to a digital print. Let's just remember, a computer did that. I did it with a computer, not my hand, and a paintbrush. I did it with a pencil that automatically corrects all the etchy parts, right? Because let's remember, Procreate will take your handwriting and smooth it out automatically. It does the same thing with your drawings. So don't try to make it so perfect because you're not a computer, you're a human, and it's okay. So I wanted to go against the mock-up. And the stripes, I think, were the perfect little touch that will, and, and it'll, you know, stripes, polka dots, mixing textures, mixing patterns is in right now. So we're actually being very fashionable. 
banana. Okay, yeah, the yellow is banana cream, but if you can't find banana cream, Deco Art Sunny Day, almost identical, just a little, little lighter. It's just a shade lighter. Banana cream is a little brighter. Sunny Day is a little lighter. So, hmm. okay, so let's do the polka dots. We're going to need some polka dot sponges, which I have right here. I am going to have to find some that I know that I have multiples in the same size, so I need at least three in the same size, and I do. Okay. And these are a hodgepodge of all different, oh, that one's not the same size. Hold on. That is not the same size. What are you thinking, Eric Gray? Here we go. Figured it out. There we go. They're about the same size. So let's start with the blue one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to just half and half. Now we're going to have to get into, um, so there's, I just dipped my dauber in blue and white and I just swirled it around. That's my favorite way to do polka dots. It gives you the coolest looking polka dots. And I'm going to do the triangle method where I use the, where I use two polka dots like here and here. And I try to make a triangle out of it. And here and here and try to uh, try to make a triangle. And so, hold on, this backwards game gets me. So here and, okay, so there's one technically right here and one technically right there. So now it's right there. Okay. We're just gonna, now we're just filling in the empty spaces where there looks to be a little bit of a void. Like the corners, it's, and you want them to go off the edge. So you want them to kind of veer off the, the edge of the design because it makes it look like the pattern just keeps going even though the design stopped. Even if it's just the tiniest little corner of a, of a dot. So there's our blue one. Okay, so that one goes there. I'm trying to keep them. And then you go in water. These I do throw in just plain old water because these don't last forever. I mean, look at that. That's already starting to separate off of the, the dowel. And I probably have already used super glue to put it back. All right, let's do the red one. We do need some extra white. Okay. So I'm going to put my polka dot sponge in half white, half red, and prime it. Which means I just push it down and turn it around a couple times. Okay, same process. We're going to put one down. Make a second and try to make a triangle out of that. Even if it doesn't make full triangles, you're going to try and make triangles out of each spot and then fill in the voids where there's an awkward empty space. There we go. I love this polka dot technique. Now look, we're not going to mix this with yellow. That's going to turn out nasty orange. So this is going in the water, right? We're going to get a new sponge dauber. We're going to do, this one's going to be more white than yellow because the white, the yellow is already very pastel, remember? So here we go. So that's like uh, two thirds white and just a little bit of yellow. And we're going to prime it. Remember, we're going to prime it. So there we go. We're ready to go. Let's do... Concentrating way too hard on polka dots. This I should not have gotten that quiet. <laughs> now with the yellow one, if you're finding that your yellow will not uh, ghost out, I call ghosting uh, adding white to an already mixed color um, to lighten it, um, and I call these ghosted polka dots. So I'll, I'll tell you in instructions sometimes. I was like, okay, now using ghosted polka dots, polka dot your design, and there you go goes to polka dots. And the reason I say that is I'm a kid that grew up in the 90s and I love everything 90s. I was born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s, and figured it all out in the 2000s. So, um, I love Super Mario. And if you ever got to, if you played Super Mario as a kid, if you got to the castle scenes, the, the levels with the castles and the ghosts were doodle, 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 doodle. You know, every time they passed over something, you could still see it through them, 
but it was just hazy and you can see it, but it was just like, it's there, but barely there. So that's where I came up with the concept ghosted out or ghosting it. Um, so if you ever wonder why I say that, that's why I say it. All right. So there's our very not so messy paint palette. It was a very, look, this is how simple the design is. Our paint palette barely got messy. Now, don't forget, if you see this, if you're just now joining us and you see this behind me, I have a virtual paint party coming up. It's $10. You get the template, the JPEG for this design and pre-recorded videos for each step of this door hanger. And then on April, I keep trying to say March, on April 1st, and it's no joke, there will be a live Q&A where I will be painting the bonus garland that matches this so you have a complete decor set you'll get a bonus garland set where i will give you the template for the garland and the jpeg for the garland as always and you will be able to ask me all the questions while we paint that live so the the tutorial for this will be pre-recorded but the 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 tutorial the template for this the tutorial for this the tutorial for the garland will be a live Q and A where I paint which it will be a lot of the same techniques just mini version a little bite sized version and I will do a live Q and A and explain a lot of things while we paint together so if you're interested in that comment spring and I'll come back after the live and I will give you the link for registration the group will open up on Monday so you'll have access to the files but the videos will not be available till a couple days after that. And then, so you'll have time to get it cut and get it ready. You'll also have an option to order a blank if you'd like to order a blank for both the garland and the door hanger. And then you will also get, the, like I said, the garland. And that will be a live Q&A session where I do the tutorial during the live Q&A session on April 1st. I could, I've been waiting to release another virtual paint party. I have missed pop-up virtual paint parties. So comment spring for that. If you've already commented spring, you're good to go. Now, if you were, uh, we were talking, talking Erica's Tiblet Tribe. What's in my pocket? My twine. So let's clean our workspace because we're about to twine this sucker up. Like I said, we've got a Windex and clean our workspace. So I have glass down and watch this, watch this, white 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 it's like a real life TikTok right there um so we're gonna do this and so erica's template tribe registration has opened up for april's bundle april's bundle will have uh summer someone specifically asked me will it have summer they're so ready for summer yes it will have summer it will have teacher appreciation it will have a few graduation it will have some what else does it have a lot of floral, you know my jam is some floral, right? Not everything is floral. Some more beach, everybody seemed to love the beach last month. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut our garland. This is how I measure, there's no, there's no exact measurement. So I just literally sew it up there and eyeball it. Give it a couple extra inches. There we go. Take our scissors. This is the same twine I put on my door hangers. And then I wrap the rest of it up. They are beautiful. Thank you. That's how I make bubbles half and half. Yep. I call it ghosted out polka dots. All right. So there's my twine for my garland. I do the same thing with my mantle. This one's going to be going in here, I think. Okay. So the, the, here's. Oh. I get a lot of people who get very frustrated with stringing their garland. One tip I can give you. Take some painter's tape. We're just going to take some. Leftover painter's tape from taping the piece off, right? We're going to make a shoestring out of it. Roll it. Roll it. Rolling, 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 rolling. Oh. Okay, so you want to go. You're looking at it, right? So we're looking at it. You're looking at it. I'm not. I'm looking at the back. But for all intents and purposes, you're looking at it, right? We're going to go in the front out the front and that's how you string a garland to where the string is behind the design it's okay if it's hanging um, a little in the front for those uh for the circles but you want the bulk of the string the little ugly piece that i mean it's going to cut your design off through the back okay so let's continue stringing 
I'm going to string it all the way again through the front, out the front. Okay. Now let's just chat while we string this because I could sit there and chant that all day long. Through the front. Yeah, everybody say it with me. Out the front. I, you do not know how many times I get a message throughout each month, especially right after I do a garland tutorial. How do you string it? And I string it live. Oh my guys, girls. I know. And it, I mean, you can look at it and it's like one of those, um, what are they called? Optical illusions. You're like, you see it, but your brain isn't like really taking it apart to where you're, you're like, is it going in? Is it going out? How's, and then you're, you're, you're building it, taking it apart because you've realized one, one of them got, um, misstrung the wrong way. So far, look, this is what it's looking like. I'm loving it. It's like McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Oh, look, there's comments, and I wasn't scrolled all the way to the bottom. The end piece of the shoestring lace is called an. <laughs> of course, Marie Mosley knows that. <laughs> I saw it on a cartoon, and, and for some reason, I'll never forget it. Um, I knew in French. And ex oh gosh, I won't be able to pronounce it. I know what the apostrophe, like the um, marks, like accent marks are called. They have a very specific name in French. I took French for four years. It's very like useless information now for me because I'll probably never use it. I still remember a lot of French words. Can't pronounce them because I'm from Louisiana. And we speak French. That's what's weird. Okay. Ta-da. All right, so now the spacing. A lot of times you don't get your spacing right. There's two ways that I tie these things off. Okay. On my mantle, it's a lot easier because on my mantle, I have these clear mini that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm almost certain clear command hooks. I mean, they're teeny tiny. They hold less than a pound. They are not heavy duty and they do need to be replaced ever, ever so often. I finally replaced my first one after three years of having it hung. Um, I intentionally initially hung it for stockings and then I realized this joker isn't strong enough to hold my stockings so I've been hanging my garlands on it so for that I just tie a knot why because it's just big enough to put on the outside and just kind of hang it that way and it just holds just like this it holds just like that and it doesn't move and it doesn't fall out and it's perfectly hung and there's no knot or anything there's no like special loop I have to make now, for if you have a nail or something, you can still do this. Say you have a nail on your mantle and you just kind of tie things to the end. You can still do the knot and separate the twine and just kind of like hang it on there just like that too. Or you can do a simple loop, a slip knot. So you hold it, hold it just like this, stick your finger in turn it there and then pull your new slip in Ta -da! nice little fancy slip knot let's do that again shall we so you take the end you put it in your palm like that like you're going to hold it just like that okay so that's how you're holding it then you take the other end and you pinch it between your pinky uh, your pinky your pointer and your thumb now take your pointer finger of your other hand, stick it through and twist it. Stick your thumb to do an alligator. And then the one that's being held in your hand, grab it and slowly pull. And it will create a slip knot. Okay. And it will create the slip knot to where this side, the end is what you tighten. That way this being pulled doesn't affect the knot itself. So see, I can tighten it as little or as big as I want. And look, never knots up. Okay, so that is our garland. So I'm gonna space it out while we talk. I normally space it out. Normally my garlands are about 
five to six inches in, in height, usually six inches on the longest end, unless it's something like this where they're just as tall as they are wide. And then I bump it down to about five and a half, five. Sometimes it just depends. Um, unless the description on my website states that if it says six inches, it's six inches. Um, but six inch tall as it is wide designs are huge. Like this right here, it's tall as it is wide. So a circle, a quatrefoil, 22 inch door hanger in that looks massive. It's the same size as all of them, but because there's so much mass to the door hanger itself, it looks massive. So I do bump it down a little bit whenever I make one for myself. So I give it, I space it about, probably about five inches between each, like between point to point, if that makes sense. I'm sorry if I'm missing any comments. All of a sudden, Facebook just hid all the comments. All I can see is your name. I can see names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up on my iPad. That that might work. How about that, Erica? Let's go here, here. I can hear you, Hayden. <gasps> okay. My son's trying to scare me through my studio window. Um, okay. There we go. See, perfectly spaced out. This one's a little close because I need to bump it down. So you have all this extra string. Once I get it on where I'm going to hang it, usually I'll either hang it here in the studio or I'll hang it on my mantle or I will hang it on my china cabinet. I use my china cabinet as if it was a mantle all the time because our TV sits on our mantle. Am I the only one that has a TV on their mantle? Oh no, who's a teacher? Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna create a knot on this one because no matter where I hang it in my house, the knot is the technique I normally go for because I have those hooks everywhere. Okay. All right, guys, we have 30 more minutes. Okay. All right, there we go. Now we're perfectly spaced out. So this one's spaced out a little further on this one. and But once I hang it up here, it'll get squished in because about half of the string isn't seen um, because of the way it hangs to be seen. All right, so let me see if I can just... All right, so we've got about 30 more minutes. I have been talking for an hour. It's time. Take care of that. I was thirsty. This garland is great. My nephew is autistic. I think I will get one to make for my sister. Aww. So, yeah, I, I mentioned earlier in last month, last month, last week's live where we painted this one. This is what it matches. So, we painted this last Tuesday. And, yes, I know we missed template to Wednesday this week. There was a hiccup in Ray Lynn's very busy schedule. So, Ray Lynn was needed for the template to Wednesday design this week. I was going to paint the beach, the life's a beach one, because I wanted to show you how to do the foam. Um, the, that was the technique I wanted to show you. And I also wanted to show you how to do footprints because it's so fun to do footprints. You can use your child if you have a small child or you can, there's a way of making footprints. So I'm still planning to do life's a beach with y'all because I want, I want that one for myself. Let me just be real. I want my little girl's footprint on my door hanger. <laughs> So, um, I have a few templates where I've incorporated children's fingerprints, handprints, footprints to where it can be a keepsake as much as home decor in itself. My great nephew is autistic and I want to get one for my sister and nieces. Yes, Jerry, yours is actually on its way. Well, it'll be on its way Tuesday. It'll be sent out Tuesday. It's cut. It's sitting on top of my laser right now. I have a whole stack of garlands headed your way Tuesday when I go to the post office. All right. All right. I have a TV above my mantle. See, Kim's with me. TV's above the mantle. I'm just saying, my husband can't, like, he refuses to mount it. I don't know if it's because it's a lot of work 
or if it's a heavy, uh, it's a heavy TV, but he like, he just doesn't want it mounted. I'm like, man, if you can mount that sucker, I could put cute little things below it. No, we can't mount it. So I use the top of my china cabinet in my living room as if it was a mantle because I'm, I don't want to go without mantle decor. I want to paint that one so bad. Which one? Which one do you want to paint, Deidre? Are you talking about this one? A footprint with a hand, maybe? Oh, what? Yeah, no. Okay, so the footprint, the footprint one is for Life's a Beach. And we were going to have Ray Lynn make a guest appearance. She's been dying to show you how to paint. She goes, mommy, I want, I want to teach your friends. Can I teach your, can I be the teacher? And so I was like, oh, this is the perfect time for her to come and hang out with us. And she gets to be the teacher. So we were just going to do like preschool art, arts and crafts, but print. <laughs> so I think we're still going to do it. Like it's going to be so much fun. We have plenty of time between now and summer for us to have that kind of fun. And Ray Lynn will just feel like a rock star. So can we make Ray Lynn's life just even more fantasy than it is? Okay, so let's chat about the book. Oh! I had a sign. I forgot I had a sign propping it up. So this is the full design. I know I was hiding half of it. It's It was so much fun to paint. I can't even, like I sat, it's been a while since I've been able to sit and just paint something for fun. And so I made sure that I painted this for fun. And so there's there's um, texture in the back. There's a lot of shading in the center right here. And I'll show you an easy way to do that. I show you an easy way to make lemons dimensional and this flower dimensional. And I show you how to do the um, blueberries to where they look like frosted little blueberries. It's going to be fun. Let's see if I can get this to prop back up again. Please don't move. Let's, no one breathes too hard. Okay. I would love to put the TV on. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Getting hot in here. We're gonna keep our clothes. All right. So, if I didn't feel like I'd knock everything down, I would show you how I would hang this. But I have a feeling it's going to knock everything down. So, do y'all have any questions as far as what we did today, what's coming up, um, anything about Erica's Template Tribe, anything about um, Paint Studio, or the brainstorms that are going to be coming for Paint Studio, or anything like that? I am so excited about it. I cannot wait. Like I'm telling y'all, if I if I could pick one thing that I do that's my favorite thing to do, it's a brainstorm. And I brainstorm in a lot of groups. Um... I'm in a coaching group myself where my business coach brainstorms with us. And I like, that's my favorite part of the whole month is where I get to sit down. Not even just for me. I love to watch other people light up with inspiration. And they're like, I got it. I'm ready to hit the road. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready to take on the world. Like it's that look, especially in us women. Sometimes we just feel so bogged down by everything we got. We got to clean the house. We got to go to work. We got to keep the little humans alive. Um, we've got to make sure every, we keep, I have, I have a pet peeve and it's the fact that no one in the house knows how to keep up with any schedule, but uh, somehow a mom keeps up with five and half of them aren't even her own. Like there, it drives me crazy that someone's like, I totally forgot. And I'm like, they're moms. Remember like a schedule per child, adult, even the schedule for the dog. Let's just be real. The moms keep up with everything. And you just get this glazed over look by the time you, you want to work on something for yourself, like your business or, or even an art project. And so that aha moment of I'm ready and I'm motivated always ends with a brainstorm. And I'm so excited about it. I want in that group, brainstorm group. Yes, Bonnie, come on. Come hang with me, girl. Come hang with me. Okay. So this is our garland. This is, if you missed it, if you're just now hopping on, that's what we painted today. It matches this door hanger. I don't know if I have a way of propping this up. No one move. I'm watching you. Okay, so it matches that. Of course, I would have it backwards. 
There we go. Ta-da! Y'all see it? Isn't it beautiful? And I'm loving the stripes and the polka dots. And we all know, let's just be real, I'm going to put glitter on it. So, y'all, tell me if you're a glitter fan or if you're not a glitter fan. Are you a big fan of putting glitter on all the things? In fact, I just sealed one right before we came in here, and my cousin, like, I call her my niece sometimes just because she's that little, like, she's just that young. Um, she was like, are we going to put glitter on it? I'm like, yes. You are so, like, my spirit animal. It's not even funny. Glitter. Maria says glitter all the way. Jerry says no glitter. So, oh, you keep that craft store virus over there. I don't want it. I want the glitter. Everything, Erica with a CK says glitter all the things. Glitter all the things. My friend Erica, she says, I want all of it. Give it to me. I want the glitter. Give me the glitter. What glitter sealer do you use? I don't use a glitter sealer. I use the same sealer on everything. I believe it's in this nifty little drawer. Yep. So when I can find it, sometimes this is sold out because it is very popular amongst more than just crafters. This is just a very good sealer. Door hangers attack. Okay. So I use the triple thick clear glaze. There is a matte version. So be very careful that you're getting the clear glaze and not the triple thick matte. Although the matte is very good. It's good quality. I use it for whenever I paint something primarily black or dark. We do that. That seems a little more sturdy. Um, because that'll haze up really easy, especially in humid areas. So whenever something's black or super dark or has a lot of black spots in it, I'll do a, a little clear coat of the matte, same brand, and then let that dry and then I'll come back and do this. Something about that combination will take out the haze every time. So I do that and then I take this glitter. Where did we put it, Maddie Moo? I take this glitter. It's the Hobby Lobby brand. And you have to make sure you're getting the extra fine diamond and make sure it's the $2.99 one, not the three or four ninety nine one. That's the glow in the dark. Don't do that. You would just want the diamond dust. Okay? I just sprinkle that on top. Good to go. That stuff will last you forever. I'm having to exit out of my video and come back in because Facebook is hiding our comments again. They don't want us hanging out. That's when I call it the devil's hand. <laughs> Y'all, don't be hating on my glitter, my sparkle. You should add a piece of molding to the top of yourself. You know, I thought about that. I thought about that, like a little lip right here. But then I move stuff around too much. I can't, I can't commit that my friends were talking about a tattoo and they're like, we should go get tattoos for spring break because we're that age group, right? There used to be a big spring break party for us back in the day when spring break broke out there. Like people went to like Florida and New Orleans and the Bahamas, like people went on destination trips for their spring break, right? Well, and then they always came back with a tattoo, right? Like, everyone's, where's your spring break tattoo? Like, everybody had this little butterfly or a little Chinese symbol. Like, that. that's just the age group we grew up in, right? And so, of course, my friends are like, hey, can we get a spring break tattoo? Like, I mean, sure. Why not? We didn't. We just, we so didn't. <clears throat> but I'm like, I know exactly, I'm an artist. I love, like, certain things. So, I know exactly what I would get. But my thing is, I am not, I'm non-committal to placement. That, that, I mean, there's hardly anything on my walls in my house because I, like, nailing a hole in my wall to hang something. I'm like, but what if I want to move it? Then there's a hole here. And, like, it's such a, it's an ordeal in my head that I never, I just never do it. I never pull the plug and put, get the hammer out and put things up. I'm the same way with tattoos. I'm like, I really want one. And I really, like, I know what I want. And I drew it myself. And I'm really excited. And I'm like, what if I don't want it there five years from now? What if I'm like, why did I put it there? I can't get past that part. Oh, Bonnie says when they started working on preschool and using glitter in Sunday school, Mike said he would teach with me only if he ne if we never used glitter again. <laughs> we can get Mike 
on board as long as the, the devil's dandruff, as Marie puts it, doesn't make a, an appearance. My sister called it, it's very off color. She called it the craft store herpes. Sarah Louise. I call it the craft store virus. It's just a virus. That's me too. I I can't commit. I right like I have a watercolor design that I designed myself, and I want. I have a friend that that specializes in those types of tattoos. He's an, a very talented artist. We grew up together, and I'm like, I really want this so bad, but I can't commit to the placement. He's like, just slap it on. Nobody cares, and I'm like, I care. <laughs> I love glitter. Me and Maria, we are like. Glitter forever. I'm like a little five-year-old girl. More glitter, better. But I'm very particular about my glitter. I will say that. My husband always yelling at me about all the, the holes in the wall. I'm, okay, so Erica, the reason why I'm like that is because I was the kid that hung all the posters and couldn't like couldn't decide where she wanted them, so she would hang them. And then I'm like, no, nah, I want him here, and no, nah, I want Toby Mac here, and no, I want this here. And I'm like, oh, but this is the one that I got at such and such, and I want this to be here where I can always see it. And so I ended up with holes all over the wall and to the point that I needed the posters to hide all the indecisiveness that I had. It was a problem. Nail, a finishing nail. They were finishing nails. And each end, you can pop it. Oh, there we go. I'm telling y'all, Jerry just comes up with the most logical, exp like, she's like, well, just do it this way. And I'm like, why didn't I think of that? She is the perfect person to keep around. Like. Common sense, she literally has extra buckets of it. Have you ever met those people that have a slap, like not an ounce of common sense? It's because God gave Jerry like extra buckets of it because like home chick over there was gonna waste it. I love glitter too, but when it gets out of hand and I'm finding it, <laughs> months late. Okay, so y'all, okay. So Marie, let me tell you a story about when my house flooded last year. They had to rip the carpet up, right? Carpet in the living room. I never used glitter in the living room. I always used it at the kitchen table over a poster board to where I could scoop it up and you'd throw it away or put it back in this little container. So they pull the carpet up and I'm sweeping all the dirt that, you know, carpet traps dirt. I don't care how many times you, you steam clean your carpet. I don't care how many times you vacuum dirt filters into and underneath your carpet. So, um... I'm sweeping all that up after they leave and there is just as much glitter as there is dirt. Like it was a 50, 50 mixture. I'm like, how it look like a unicorn tooted in here. Where'd all this come from? And it's in a place where I never used it. I was like, I was baffled on how it got here. And I'm like, yeah, it like, it, it just gets everywhere. But I love it. It's so pretty. I'm a little glitter snob, I, but I'm very particular about the ones I use. I have a ladybug glitter vacuum. Uh, Layla, Layla, Layla. You get that all the time, don't you? I'm gonna need that. I like a picture of it. Can you message me a picture of that? Cause I need it. I I, I don't even know the purpose of it, but I need it. In my, it's a ladybug glitter vacuum. It's divine, she says. Oh man, can you message me a picture of that? I need to, I need this in my life. <laughs> Now I have the song stuck in my head. Layla. Command strips. Oh, command strips would work too, Jerry. Okay. So let's recap because we only have a few more minutes till we kick over to Francis over at Stitches and Stuff. So if you're wanting to know where the next trip on our crafty road trip is, it's going to be over at Stitches and Stuff with Francis. And if you want a quick, like, just don't have to travel anywhere. You just want to be taken along in the back seat. You just want an extra ticket on this craft-a-thon train. Then what you need to do is you need to go over to Cross Country Creatives. It's a Facebook group where we are all are uploading our videos to where all you have to do is refresh the page. Like when I end, refresh the page and Francis should be popping up any minute after that. So if you want an easy ticket to the craft train, just hop over to 
cross country creatives could say that really fast and you should be able to find all of our videos plus all the videos of our la uh, last this will be the third one this year so a, a video for every crafter there's 10 of us I think there's 11 this time um for the past three months and we do plan to do it every month now some of us may not be able to do it every month but you should have a very good train going every month and it's going to be a crafty road trip because we're all spread out throughout the entire U.S. And Canada. All right. So how are we doing? Okay. So we've we've let like I said. Let's recap. We painted a garland. We used it. We used it. We used it. We demonstrated. Ghosted out polka dots. And ghosted out stripes, which were. It's just stripes, but just watered down with a baby wipe. So, go sit out stripes and go sit out polka dots. That match the door hanger that we painted earlier last week. So, the easiest thing to do is to pick a basic shape. I picked a puzzle piece, correct? It is incorporated in this door hanger, but it didn't have to be, correct? So, like, I could have just taken circles. I could have taken little uh, banner pieces and just painted them in the color scheme. I took the exact same paints that I painted this and made sure I used it in the banner itself. And I created a matching, coordinating banner slash garland, whatever you want to call it. I call it a garland, but a lot of people call it a banner and I have confused a few, so I like to use it interchangeably. Um, banner slash garland to be a decor set to match your door hanger, or if you want to shrink this down and make it a little mantelpiece, or put it on a shelf, or do what I do, put it up high and leave it door hanger size and make it a decor piece above your china cabinet because it's so far away from people's eyes. It can be bigger. And then hang your garland in the room that they enter into. So that's usually your living room, correct? And then that creates some cohesiveness to your uh, seasonal decor. That's my little tip for the day of how I match things. So just make sure, the, the trick is, long story short, make sure you use the same paints. The same paints. In that door hanger, we used banana cream. We used, this one's hard to say, ultra deep blue. No, ultra blue deep. That's why it's hard, because it's like, it's out of order. Ultra blue deep. And then we used tomato or Santa red. They're very close. Tomato red is just a little dustier. I ran out of Santa red. So this one is tomato red. So those are the colors we used plus white, black. And then uh, in this one, I did use teal. But you don't have to use all the colors. Just make sure you use the same colors, the same paints. Pick a palette and stick with it. Do you offer these as a kit? Yes, Shannon, I do offer them as a kit. I will be linking the kit. No, oh wait, you mean the door hanger and the kit? I guess I could. Sure. I'll let, once I get it listed, I'll list it up in the, um, in the description. And then I'll make sure I'll respond to you specifically with the link to the kit. Yes, I can offer the door hanger and the garland as a kit as well. Uh... Do you laser cut? What kind of laser? Okay, so Megan, I have a Rabbit Laser USA. That is the very important piece of the puzzle. A lot of times people Google Rabbit Laser. That's a, a company out in China. You want Rabbit Laser USA, okay? You want Rabbit Laser USA, talk to Carol or Ray. They're the owners and tell them I sent you. You get a discount if you tell them I sent you on your machine. Um, there's very few ways of getting a discount on a rabbit laser. They don't offer a discount. They don't do sales, but you have to have an affiliate um, program member who I am, and they will give you a discount by mentioning my name. Now, they have a company out in Ohio, and they hand deliver your machine to you and set it up. So yes, I do have a laser. It is a Rabbit Laser USA 90, 60, 80 watt. Um, a lot of people are very like gung-ho about 100 watt. There's nothing wrong with 100 watt. 100 watt's great, um, but the settings are a lot different on 100 watt and 100 watt uh, uses a lot more power going to, to feed the machine. Think of a light bulb. You wanna use the lowest watt possible to keep your light bill down. Uh, 100 watt will boost up your, uh, your light bill. 
because it's asking for more power. So just when people uh, ask me, they always ask, why'd you go with 80? I was like, uh, because I don't want to pay a ridiculous light bill. So that's why I always like to be upfront with everybody about that. But Rabbit Laser USA, my particular model is a 9060 and the wattage, which is not important because a 60 watt will do just as good as a 80 watt, an 80 watt light. I would be interested in both as a kit also. Oh, awesome. Okay, so I will cut um I'll go ahead and list the kit. I'll get a kit listed. And it will be an etched blank and it will be a six-piece garland. Yeah. I'll get a kit going for y'all. And I will I will respond to anybody. Okay, so if you want a kit, comment the word kit and I'll make sure I give you the link for the kit. I hate asking people to comment. I feel like it's the cheesiest thing. But yes, if so I know guys, so I don't want to leave anybody out. Comment the word kit if you'd like to the link to the kit. Comment the word tribe if you want to be a part of Erica's Diplet Tribe. Comment the word studio if you want to be a part of uh my paint studio where we will be now be doing a brainstorm session every month and we will get three templates and two tutorials. Um comment what's the other one? Comment the word spring. <laughs> If you want to be a part of the virtual pay party that's coming up on April 1st, you will get access long before to the actual tutorial of the door hanger. But on April 1st, we will have a live Q&A uh, as we do a tutorial on the banner slash garland that coordinates with this. And it's so stinking cute. I'm excited about that one. So, kit, banner, tribe, spring. Oh, dear Lord. That's a lot. I'm so sorry. Okay, so it is 622. Y'all, do not forget, when we're done here, Francis at Stitches and Stuff will be the next presenter on our crafty uh, road trip through the U.S. and Canada. So don't forget to go head over to uh, Stitches and Stuff. Hang out with Francis. I think she's painting, is it a tiered tray set or is it a summer uh, spring door hanger? It's going to be fun. Francis is so much fun. So y'all just go hang with Francis anyways. This is a two-day event. So we're going to have me, Francis, and I believe Rachel today. And the rest of my crafty friends will be kicking up. Because remember, a long road trip, you can't do it in one day. You shouldn't do it. It's more fun if you stop somewhere, you get a bite to eat, and you go uh, get you a good night's sleep, and then you hit the road the next day. So well, this is a two-day event. So if you didn't catch all of today, don't worry. The replays are all are there. Go ahead and hang out with my friends tomorrow and uh, tell them I sent you. All right, so I can't wait to see y'all um, at their next stop over at Stitches and Stuff with Francis in the comments. I love y'all for watching. 